tunasema tunataka ku eradicate story unemployment mbaya lakini wasio kikama hapa kuputa up mazema industries na nini na as in it goes without saying industrialized countries ndio maze zina do fit juu the moment your country maze ko fit industrialization ina maanisha wasio wako kazi so how is it that tunajidanganya tunataka ku create ya watu employment lakini wasio wakitaka ku set up biz tunawafinyilia tumesikia stories za CSS maze wanaitisha bribes deadly sana na magavana ndio mtu akama putap industry hapa na sawi industry ikiekelewa hapa vijana maze watasaidika pale mbona tufikiri hivyo kuna saa zingine unapata there's a small price to pay when a company comes in una, unakwambia ni aje si tuta set up hapa tuta workforce itakuwa ni yenu as in tuna come ku benefit watu wenu lakini tusaidieni maze tumekieni vitu zikuwe easy unakataa afadhali umsa ende ya set up Rwanda na bado unatuambia maze unataka kutu create employment as in <laughs> sijika ni mimi sielewi kitu linaendelea ama country ka Malaysia wako na magari zinaundiwa kwao na igari the fact that inaundiwa hapa first of all ni chipa number two workforce iko pale kuunda hii gari ni big so inamaanisha nini citizens malaysia wanasaidika so au kitu tu ame yani ile catch tu ni wewe nunua gari zetu itakuwa poa but kama unataka kuleta gari ya country nyingine unataka kuleta range rover haina mambo wewe leta range yako lakini utailipia three times the, the, the actual cost so inaweza nikaa kuna kufinyilia pale lakini what malaysia is doing wanahakikisha maze mbogi yao kwanza imesaidika wa fast before tuanze ku promote watu wa country zingine watu wetu wamesaidika kwa nini si atufanye hivyo kwa nini tunyanyase mkulima wa mchele tumlipe peanuts alafu twende tu import mchele kutoka sijui Mexico ama ni wapi why mbona si do hivyo siku hizi nimeacha kupiga kelele na sema educators maybe there is a perfect reason so kujeni tu hapa kwa comments muniambie kwa nini tunafanya hivi to educate tujue ndio tuache kupiga kelele hapa kumbe there is actually a very good reason why tunaitisha investor bribe ya 20 million dollars as opposed to kumwacha kuja afanye mambo yake hapa watu wetu wasaidike na ati inakuwa ngori design kao nipati 20 million dollars peleka hii industry yako place nyingine mbona tuna do hivyo vile PLO anasemaga enlighten us why 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 species don't the cars nikiziacha nje mara nyingi moment episode 7 headline hitters kama k and if you see him kurugenzi in the building you just know he's got the juice <laughs> let's get to it wadao the year is 2006 vijana wangu wa 2001 nikipiga hesabu yangu hapa naona ni kama mlikuwa nasari so mtahitaji daftari you will need your notebooks so 2006 march 2nd Mdao hapo nilikuwa first year Kenya Institute of Mass Communication but this story is not about me 2006 kuna building pale town inaitwa Iron Dam Building Iron Dam Building ime house one of the biggest television networks in this country ambayo ni nini Standard Media Group KTN the TV station ilikuwa housed pale News imepigwa pale imeisha ya saa tatu. of course news ya saa 3 huaga inaisha huko ma 10 10 something nini So watu washamaliza ni kupanga panga mambo yao ndio sasa wae waende kikosi hapo ma 11:30 wachukuliwe wapelekwe makwao. So washamaliza mazele winding up nini eh, set down nishafanywa kila kitu. So wako pale wanategea. Nini transport iingie mazee. We 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 we. 
wakurugenzi kula pause usi rewind Mm-mm. usiende forward Mm-mm. fanya hivi si tuko iandem building toka toka haya fungua mlango ya iandem toka ingia hapo kwa corridor hiyo ya, ya Kenya Avenue uko hapo hapo Kenya Avenue very nice tuanzie story yetu hapo back uh, during those days kulikuwa na taxi company inaitwa Kenatco Taxis taxis zilikuwa na sticker ya green kwa mlango pap nakumbuka madi naona una relate mbaya sana Kenatco Taxis bana kuna dereva rafiki yangu pale amepaka hapo eh, just outside the Andem building ametulia na tegea customers keep in mind what were 2001 e time akina uber sg lift <laughs> bolt hizo <laughs> zote hazikuwa Taxi ulikuwa unasimamisha hivi kama mduvi. Eh, hey, unaingia una negotiate hapo na driver ni kama mnanunua nyanya. Ndio unapelekwa mahali unapelekwa. So, jamaa wangu amekaa hapo hivyo chini, anaangalia tu usiku. Unajua usiku usiku hiyo masaa 5 unusu na ilikuwa time ya before curfew. Kuna vitu nyingi sana unajionea ukiwa hapo. <laughs> right across the road huko kuna <laughs> kuna club ilikuwa pale inaitwa Simas kuna akina dada walikuwa wanatembea tembea hapo nje for yani katika ile pilka pilka ya kusafisha kipindi wacha tu waite ni wauza nyama wanauza nyama so jamaa ko pale mzee derewa taxi ana mteja amekaa hapo anaona wasichana wa butchery wauza nyama wanatembea hapo nini kidogo kidogo anaona eh, we, yo yo we, wait a minute muuza nyama wa ametoka mbio magari shindwa eh hey, what ni nini inafanyika kidogo kidogo wase hiki tu hiki tu count satano na nusu watu wanakimbia kwa nini eh eh kidogo kidogo genge la watu halaiki ya watu wamepiga zile helmet za, zile reflector jacket za nduvi wanapita hapo mazee wamebeba kaka kaka heavy artillery wala kama wakapita hiyo street tu hivi teketeke wakaingia Ayandem building wa wow. of course mtu wangu wa taxi yange ngoja kuona ni nini inafanyika hata yeye aliacha gari hiki tu hiki tu so mazim pam bogi imeshaingia Ayandem building ndani hapa kwanza modus operandi ni moja first of all anything inaweza kutu identify eh, ie cctv weka chini atutaki evidence yote inaweza kutu place uh, hapa Mishoni imetuleta hapa ni moja. Tunakuja kuvunja kuharibu kila kitu ya hii news eh, ya, ya e broadcasting house. Sababu gani? Sababu kumekuwa na na, 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 na mushkil flani, kumekuwa na inakisiwa ya kwamba hao watu wa eh, standard media wako na information information ambayo inaweza fanya eh, inaweza weka gava kwa kwa tashwish. Basically ni information ambaye inachomea serikali. So mbogi imekuja hapa kupiga I mean kuharibu, kuvunja kila kitu. Hii information ambayo tujui ni gani haifai kuona light of day. So ni kupiga CCTV kwanza tapa pa 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 kuvunja kila kitu. Alafu ndo nini? Kazi yaanze. Baka hapo tuko salama. Tuko salama. Haya. Hii yote ina happen wapi? I and them building tao. A few kilometers away kuna mahali panaitwa industrial area. Pale industrial area kuna barabara inaitwa Likoni Road. Likoni Road ndio kuna um, um, area pale ambayo ndio printing press ya Standard Media Group. Basically pale ndio wanafanya nini? Wanachapisha magazeti. Mbogi ingine kama hii hii imeingia pande hiyo teke teke. Ni ku Vunja kila kitu kuingia na kuanza kazi. Mashini za printing zinafanywa kila kitu. Weka mchanga ikiwezekana hii kitu yaribike. Zile gazeti zimeshachapishwa, toa zote, weka nje. Fanya hii kitu kwa moto. Yaani the whole uh, printing press ilikuwa on fire maze. Kumechacha deadly. Employees wenye wako night shift wadbebe gazeti zao chapisha ngoma usiku I guess I don't know. Ama usiku ndio wana packing zipelekwe kwa my destination. I don't know. So maze, watu wako, wako pale maze, vitu zimewaka waka wanajua oh my god tumeatakiwa maze. ni nini inaweza kuina happen sasa so si ni kupiga masimu wanapigia their fellow employees their colleagues wenye wako tayari nyumbani maze, yo ni aje wadau maze, sisi wase wa night shift tuko huku hivi tumeatakiwa maze, atuelewi form ni gani so of course wale ma colleagues wenye wako nyumbani kuna majournalist huko nini ah story hizi wapita 
Mzee mmoja wao akachukua kamera yake mufti he's an investigative journalist. Akatoka nyumbani hiyo usiku saa 5:30 ikielekea saa sita. Hii kitu wewe, hii kitu. Hii kitu mpaka wapi? Likoni Road. Kuangalia mzee ni nini na happen. Nimewasho ujamaa is an investigative journalist. Na kama wewe ni investigative journalist, ah, ume interact na makarao bro. Makarao mnajuana sana bro. So anaingia hivi mzee pale location anapata eh wait cops wameshaingia na cops mimi nawajua maze na him time wa kamoto oh oh but ni poa cops wamefika juu hawa nashuku wana secure the area as wana try to neutralize ni nini na kile ina happen wapi kule ndani so acha toa mashini yake maze tu ni kacha 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 ako kazi maze ameshaona mabeshte wake hapa ni makarao wana juana wamejuana for long so ata kuna ka sense of security yako nayo maze yeni kacha kacha kazi inapigwa mbaya eh kidogo kidogo karao wanajua na vizuri sana sana they interacted not once not twice a couple of times ametoa tu pop thwao ndenga kaka kok aka point ya mjamani aje buda unafanya nini eh mse na kamenje yake anashindwa ah uko hapa na kwa gari wangu man unani pointia gun kopa kauliza mdosi wake yo Mzee kuna mse amekuja hapa anapiga piga mapicha jo anachoma itakuwaje to deal na yeye aje umdosi wa kopa kaambia ni aje we toka toka enda kaa mbali kabisa mzee itaimu jali sana angalia makopo wili wait i know both of you mzee mbona mbona mnajifanya ni kama amnijui but yo uweze uweze bishana na hii hii si hata shinski alisema risasi ya isimamisha yangu ina kifua eh hey! akachukua mashini yake akakaa kando wale watu wakaendelea kufanya nini kutekeleza turudi i and them building wale majamaa washafanya nini wamesecure the building pale maze sasa ni tunapanda juu juu pole 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 tuelekea wapi Sixth floor uko sasa ndio newsroom ya KTN iko maze Ma, in fact storage yao most iko huko ma servers nini nini ukiingia sixth floor mtu wangu aha uko na, na, na kuna kitu ulikuwa unataka kufanyia station ah sixth floor was a place to be man so bogi pap wameshapanda mpaka sixth floor sasa tuko tayari kuharibu hapa tunafagia kufagia wadao ndio mjue pia Mungu bana hawachi watu wake wale watu waliingia vizuri sana mazee wameshapanga hii strategy sawa sawa hatufai kuacha evidence yetu hata kidogo cameras zote ziende so walienda waki destroy cameras zote mpaka huko kwa sixth floor mazee wameingia wametandika cameras kabisa in their heads wanajua nivo hawase watakuwa na evidence yetu little did they know that the cameras they were destroying were cameras belonging to the I and M building management pale 6th floor kulikuwa na cameras mahali strategic his cameras they were belonging to the Kenya television network as in they were belonging to the standard group media they never saw them hawakuziona Ah walikuwa wanavunja kamera za I&M juzo zimeekelewa tu maybe place zinaonekana so zilikuwa zinaonekana chap chap zinavunjwa zile za standard group zimefichwa mahali maze they never saw them so what they did not know is that as they were doing the most hapa hivi chini kamera za standard group za CCTV zilikuwa hiki tu hiki tu zinaamulika mbaya <laughs> na hiyo ndio footage ilisaidia history yote maze otherwise kama si hizo footage za standard group hatunge wai jua ni nani wali conduct raid pengine mnajiuliza why 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 kwa nini watu watoke tu mahali wametoka wakuje waingie standard group waanze kuharibu vitu oh nimesha explain oh niji kuna vitu zilikuwa zinasemekana ni za kuchoma nini nini yeah it's true standard group ilikuwa ina kisiwa ya kwamba walikuwa na kitu ambayo ingepublishiwa ingechomea gava alafu around the same time kulikuwa na publication moja ambayo iliprintiwa na eh, some journalist there ambayo ilikuwa inasema aliyekuwa rais wakati huo eh, rafiki yangu sana anaitwa Emilio Mwaikibaki alikuwa amekuwa na special meeting a secret meeting with a, a guy who at the time was uh, in the opposition Kalonzo Musyoka 
na hii meeting ilikuwa ya kumpatia bwana Kalonzo e, wadha wa kukuwa makamu wa rais vice president after the coming elections which were to happen the following year nimewaambia hapa tuko 206 eh? 207 kuna election ilikuwa na come so apparently Bax alita eh, Kalonzo meeting commission yaje mti yangu nikishapenya hiki kitu uda chukua vice mti yangu utulie iko nini somebody got wind of that story akaenda akai publish wapi standard group so ilikasirisha ilikasirisha watu mbaya deadly so hiyo story i guess amongst other things ndio zilifanya hiyo siku maze mtu akasema no enough is enough ah watu wa standard group wametuzoea hivi <coughs> what a fryer so maze raid katandiko huko deadly maze walienda waka destroy kila kitu mashini maze zikavunjwa vitu walikuwa storage yenye ongeza beba wakabeba as in the station ilikuwa Uh, and uh, lockdown for i think 13 hours yeah wali acha wamefanya mbaya deadly so kitu uh, kidogo ilikuwa inatatanisha ni kwamba walikuwa wanakuja kuchoma sababu walikuwa wanasema eh, publication yenye ilikuwa inatoka ilikuwa ya kuchomea gava but these guys hata wakichoma hizi magazeti as in the headline was very clear akukuwa na kitu ya kuchoma serikali hapo in fact the headline that uh, that that um, that day ilikuwa KCP results zilikuwa zimetoka top students walikuwa maze wamepigwa interview ni aje dreams zako ni gani what are your ambitions nini ndio your secret to success unajua hizo ma interview safi safi za kuchocha mwanafunzi kabla aingie university pale stella winja akutane na kushung peng aki hizi university zitatuonyesha mambo Ah, watu tunasoma kwa gazeti alafu tunawapata 2 years later mu It's all right, I do. Anyway, I digress. So yeah, headlines ilikuwa by the end story nice ya yeah, our future leaders maze. Watoto wamepita KCSE, wameinterviewwa tu kuulizwa maze secret ni gani na unaashiria kwenda wapi? Unaaspire kwenda wapi kutoka hapa? These guys did not want to know. They burnt down everything but something beautiful happened that time na siji kama ni culture yetu waga tunakaa nikaa tupendani by the way kenyan siuka very divided until tupatwe na msiba until we are hit with a, some sort of a disaster your time after our watu wamechomewa kila kitu their competition Nation Media Group walikaa mwakaambia mazee our brothers tumeona ile kitu mazee imewafanyikia mazee na ni mbaya hatujafurahi hatujafurahi hata kidogo but yo my guys kama machine zenu zimeharibiwa designer muwezi publish tena worry no more you know why because we got you man kujeni mu publish kile mnataka ku publish mkitumia machine zetu mazee sisi tuko sawa machine zetu ziko open you can use them whenever you want Ah, isn't that beautiful guys? Any wish to ngako gatumishikana gatu hivyo maze. Yeah, so I guess I don't know. I don't know whether Standard Group walichukua hiyo opportunity siko sure. Ningependa sana kusoma gazeti ya Standard ambayo imechapishwa nation. <laughs> oh yes. Ah <laughs> oh, man, nilikuwa natafuta comparison ya Man na Arsenal lakini nimeona ni wache tu. Squeeze Arsenal kuiweka kwa kitu ni kutafuta nooks. as you need to grow up i digress <coughs> so yeah ikakuwa man it is what it is man standard group imechomwa printing press yao imechomwa maze <sighs> itakuwa niaje fortunately vile nilikuwa nimewaambia cctv hii kitu zikamulika a few of the culprits maze na waka notice kitu very peculiar despite the fact that these guys had balaclavas on ungetel there are some people pale walikuwa foreigners sababu walikuwa very light skin the ani wazungu unajua kuna u light skin niko pale unaweza sema okay huu ni mwarabu muindi but kuna u light skin nyingine definitely white people man hiyo kitu ilisaidia sana maze sana so upon investigation ikakaa mikajulikana yo there is uh, uh, okay the masterminds the executors 
walikuwa some two brothers of Armenian origin the mercenaries sasa one of them was Artur Margarian and the brother Artur Sargasian hao ndio walikuwa gamaze pale mbele maze executors kumbe walikam maze wakapatiwa shughuli wakashika keja pale runda wakaenda wakatafuta kikosi bigi unasikia kikosi linge huko maze ni tens of people eh wakatrain jeshi poa kwa waka brief sasa wakaenda waka execute maze so tushajua wasee wametoka nje wamekuja wame raid east nje ah nimewaambia around that time kuna umse ah so ali publish uh, history ya kusho uh, kulikuwa na secret meeting nini ai mtu yangu waliokotwa iko nini straight mpaka stay nje wakatupwa ndani so wali end up kuka huko like uh, a whole week in fact right after tu ameingizwa hivi that evening Security minister at the time alikuwa anaitwa Bwana Mishuki Marehemu may God rest his soul alisema statement on live television akasema maze if you rattle a snake you must be ready to be what to be beaten hiyo kwa mtu hata kama ujenda college ama ujapata masomo sana how need at the remedial classes kujua whatever was happening here and this snake that we are talking about there was a connection yeah hiyo au au need ah sasa tukulipie tuition ndio ushikanishe hiyo ah 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 but the funny bit <laughs> is that the said snake <laughs> ilikata history yote deadly <laughs> si 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 tuka read why 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 first of all ndio to read kitu kama tv station Why would we need foreigners? Sisi ni watu tuko na kila mtu. Kuanzia KDF mpaka scouts and girl guides. Why? Why should we have hire, should we hire people from outside wakuje? Why? Baka yenye unangai after your statement unakaa hivi unajiambi enyewe why? Why? No, it, it can't be them. It cannot be them. At that particular time, the head of the police service alikuwa nje i think ilikuwa muhammed ali alikuwa anaitwa muhammed ali um, i think yeah police commissioner alikuwa ameenda for some official eh uh, ilikuwa uh, hasan ali head of police com- the police commissioner your time 26 eh eh alikuwa anaitwa nani ilikuwa hasan ali hapana eh hasan ali mti yangu kwa hasan ilikuwa na hasan eh alipelekwa posta Yeah. Okay, niandikie ni jina yake hapo kwa comment. <laughs> Yo, so him he was out on official business. So ata historia raid akujua. So vile alikaa makasikia wait, hey, hey, what, what the hula balu man? Ni nini mbaya? Tayari tushagundua okay kuna some uh, mercenaries wa menini so akaoda for the arrest. Ni aje delete ni hao mamluki hapa to to, to a big interrogation. Watu waambie ni his form is how? Guys, I kid you not. Hawa say makarao alienda ku arrest buda walifukuzwa huko kama kitu kingine tukajiuliza ai ni nani hawa wako na hii kujiamini yote ni foreigners lakini wamejiamini mpaka wanafukuza makarao ah si lazima wako wako na backing ya serikali tukalisa serikali serikali hawa same juu serikali uko dai sisi sisi ah muna tuwekelea mtu ah tuko na yenyewe Yeah, maybe hawa setu tu ni ma fast body tu ndio kwa maana mazea tukuweza ku arrest ni sawa but it is alleged that on their way to the airport as they were leaving the country walikuwa ndani ya GK with two outriders wakafunguliwa milango zote mpaka airport na wakaishia tukajiambia hapana hii lazima kukue kuna some government force iko behind it serikali mko shua sisi sisi aje A- <clears throat> goes without saying to date to date i don't think there's a single person who has ever been incarcerated because of the standard group raid i do not know na kama iko muniambia hapo kwa comments yeah your story ilienda tu hivyo na ikaisha hivyo wale journalists walipelekwa ndani i think walikaa huko wiki moja eh wakapelekwa pale makina eh, kibera locots wakaandikiwa eh, publishing eh, an alarming article yeah na ikaisha hivyo tu hiyo story ilienda tu fizzled out. Kumekuwa na bit of investigations hapa na pale, ma journalists wakafanya ma stories hapa na pale. Vijana wanakula tu starehe huko Europe. <laughs> yeah. 
Now life goes on, man. Whew. And that, my fellow 2001 uh, <laughs> people, is the story of the Standard Group Raid. 2nd March 2006. Yeah. Na <laughs> Hmm. Of course, Saturday, tuko pale na kipindi cha Celebrity First Encounters. Yeah, tuskume injili sana sana sana. Na kama K, ukisikia bana umeguzwa mahali, unasikia mm, mm, mkuru, mm, mkuru. It's too much juice, man. Too much juice. Here, have some of my juice. <laughs> Chaza kiwewe. Chaza kiwewe, man. Allah is not ambua sana, maze. It's always a pleasure hanging out with you. Naona bimkuru genzi ya niambia ni mesao kitu. What have I forgotten? Mohammed Hussein Ali, that's the what's up, ah, generally, yes, that's him, that's him. Sasa, Rudy, Rudy Nyuma, kwa story, chikoyo jina Mohammed Hussein Ali, ibandike hapo. <laughs> Otherwise, wadao na watambua sana, all the best na wapenda Joe Kinyama, tuzidi wadao. I'll see you. Peace. Leo, ni leo. Uli fikiri ta juice oh le oni le oh